Codex is hands down the best strategic thinking partner that I have found for technically adjacent problems. What I mean by that is that if I am facing a problem and it's not code, I want to emphasize that people hear Codex and they hear Claude code and they think that means I'm just going to talk about coding stuff. I'm not. This is not for coding and engineering only. It is for anyone who wants to think intentionally about software systems or things you want to build. It doesn't even commit you to building in Codex. And we're sleeping on this because everyone has advertised all of these models that are built for coding as if they just do coding and they don't. And I really wish that we had more people talking about the other stuff you can do. You can use Claude code for lots of things beyond code. Anthropic does that, by the way. They use it for legal. They use it for marketing. They use it for HR, et cetera. Well, guess what? You can do some really cool stuff with Codex that is very distinct from Claude code. And what I'm going to show you in this video is a breakdown side by side of Claude code and Codex and how they compare answering a tough, technically challenging strategy question, not a coding question. Because I find that that is actually a higher leverage use of AI than just coding per se. If it can help me to make smarter decisions, that is going to pay off so much more down the road than just having it do the code. And it's also way more accessible because most of the people in the world don't code. And so if we just paint Codex as a coding model, we're missing out. So without further ado, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to show you Codex and Claude Code side by side. Okay, here we are. Codex is on the left. Claude Code is on the right on my screen. They each have been given the exact same prompt. If you're wondering how I got this installed, it's super easy. I can give you a quick tutorial another time. But essentially, it's a two-minute install. You just open up a little terminal and you ask to install Claude code or Codex with a special command, and that's it. It's super easy. So if you're a non-coder, I know it seems scary to install things on the command line, but trust me, as someone who lived in the 1980s and did a lot of stuff with Windows and DOS, it's not that scary. It's totally okay. Uh, here is the prompt that I gave them once I got in, right? I'm in Codex. I ask, I'd like to think through a complicated problem. Can you help me lay out options? and technical pros and cons, please. Specifically, I'm looking to figure out a multi-agent AI deployment. I want the system to one, triage incoming tickets in JIRA filed by customer success, two, correctly assess whether or not the reported issue is a bug, three, trigger initial code review if the bug is confirmed, and four, begin drafting a pull request to address that bug. There are also going to be fail and degradation paths to consider. As you look at this, what strategic questions emerge that I need to answer to design the system effectively? Exact same prompt over to Claude Code over here. I literally pasted it so it would be identical, right? Both say they'll help me think through it. Here's the thing. Codex is already winning because Codex is much more reasonable. It is headlined properly. I see possible approaches, and there's three options that are really easy to scan. I can take a tool augmented approach, an event driven workflow, or an agentic pipeline. Great. If I look over here, it says single agent versus multi agent. It doesn't really give me as many choices. It gets into confidence thresholds really fast. Whereas Codex stays really focused at the strategic layer, right? It says, okay, what are some component considerations you want to think through? I feel like I'm talking to a more senior member of the engineering team when I'm looking at Codex over here. Whereas when I'm looking at Claude Code, it just jumps right into this specific failure table and tries to explain what, what the heck it means by these specific failure choices. I am not ready to get into specific failure modes. That is why I asked the system to think strategically. Only Codex figured that out. And Codex is here having an earnest conversation with me about how I should think about the components. It's giving me ideas for degradation paths that are concise and easy to understand. Classification uncertainty is one. Model hallucination is one. This is so easy to follow. It is so easy to think through. It is so clear. And then it gives me a series of strategic questions around data, human in the loop, tooling, scalability, et cetera. Fantastic. I already like this codex summary better. By the way, Claude just keeps going, right? Now Claude is drawing an entire sequential pipeline. Where is the order here? It's not that anything that Claude is proposing is on its face obviously incorrect. It is that Claude, the agent in Claude code, seems to jump to specificity really, really fast. It's eager. It has bias for action. 
And that is really unhelpful if I'm trying to think through a problem before making big choices. And by the way, the leverage in engineering and also non-engineering tasks in AI right now is in planning. That is why cursor launch planning mode. That is why so many people get frustrated with vibe coding tools because they jump into action too quickly. Planning matters and Codex is extraordinary at planning. And I want you to look at this, especially if you are not an engineer. This is super readable. What labeled history exists to train or triage accuracy? Okay, like that's plain English. They're asking, do you have a, a history of tickets with some labels on them so we can understand what good looks like? And in fact, if I want to, I can literally ask Codex to restate that in less technical terms, and it will. Watch, down here on the command line, could you please summarize this for a non- technical 12th grade reading level. Present options and strategic questions clearly and concisely. And it's just gonna go off and do it. In the meantime, I wanna call out that it successfully laddered up the highest leverage questions when I asked it to. So I asked it to ladder up the highest leverage questions, super readable. It asked about automation boundaries, quality and risk metrics, governance, operational resilience and investment. These are all correct questions if you're designing an agentic system. Super helpful again. But I asked the same thing to Claude. See, ladder this up into three to five highest leverage questions. And what I got, this is like a, a doc, right? And it's not even this, like, how much are you willing to spend on false positives and false negatives? That is not a strategic level question. That is a tactical level question. Claude is missing the point here. And it just goes on and on and on. Meanwhile, Codex answers in a few lines and then gives you the non-technical summary. It describes an agent as a central coordinator that hands each ticket to specialist bots. That's correct. It describes an event-driven setup as another option where bots react to ticket status. This is basically a way of translating code to non-technical people and Codex lets you do it. People are sleeping on this. I really wish people would understand how much you can do with these systems, but they're just locked in a terminal and they get scared and they don't do it. Like if I asked this to, to Claude Code, I would be curious to see what happens. I suspect Claude Code is going to be much, much more worthy, but, but we'll see. In the meantime, if you look over at the Codex side, this is going to give you what automation boundaries mean, which step, steps stay automatic, where should humans get involved? Again, this is something you could explain to a non-technical CEO and they would understand what you mean. Codex is able to efficiently ladder up strategic decisions and strategic thinking in a way. Yeah, see, Claude Co just did that. But Codex is able to ladder this up in a way that's really accessible. And Claude Co comes back and it's, gosh, it's so long, right? I asked it to write concisely and it did ladder it up non-technically. It's harder to read. It's longer. It gives you its opinion on risks in a way that's not super clear. This is so much better. I feel like we are missing the value that Codex is bringing because it is buried in the command line. And look, there are moments when I like Claude Code. I have said before that Claude Code is useful as an agent on a loop where it comes back and it gives you more options and you can work with it over time. Codex has some of those loop-like qualities, but it tends to like more structure. So far, so good. That is a helpful distinction for coding tasks, for people who like to load context windows up and code, using Codex is great because they can give it a goal and give it a context window and off it goes, especially if they're solving really hard problems. For people who are more iterative, um, who want more of a conversational approach, Cloud Code can be very helpful. This is not about that comparison. What you are looking at is intellectual capacity. Can the system think with me on a hard technical problem in a way that is easy, for me to understand that is legible, that is intelligible, that I can share with others? The answer is that Codex could absolutely keep up and I love it. And Claude Code is just not there right now. And it's, it's not close, guys. It's not close. I gotta be really honest. I did not start this video assuming that we would have only one winner. It was when I started to put the terminals together and say, wow, there's a huge difference that I realized I needed to share this. Codex has a secret talent here that we are sleeping on. And so if you have not tried Codex for strategic thinking, I encourage you to do so. It is not close. It is the best strategic thinking partner out there for technical tasks. Don't sleep on it. 
And don't be scared by the command line. If you're new, I'll include a whole guide to installing Codex off the command line so it's not scary over on the Substack. And I'll include some other sort of starter questions, ways that you can think about using Codex strategically for non-coding purposes. I want people to access the intelligence they can use to do their jobs better. And this is transformative intelligence. It's just hiding in the terminal. Let's free it up. Let's use it. That's my side-by-side -side comparison of Codex and Claude Code as strategic thinking partners. Hope you enjoyed it.